Recording. Hi, everybody. Hey. Guess where I finally am. I'm home. I'm Jeez. so happy. Finally made it home. Finally got home yesterday. And Kevin has been so helpful. My daughter's been so helpful. I don't feel 100%, but I feel a lot better. I'm much more comfortable in my wonderful chair. Yep. And my bed, because it's a chair also. I'm not as miserable, that's for sure. My stomach feels a little yucky, but I'm, I'm a lot better than I was. I have, I have a few experiences. You already heard about one of them. Where she called 911. Yeah. The first experience I had is I lost my button, the call button. And Let's tell them what happened. I mean, what happened in the first place? I don't know what happened. I, I needed somebody to come and help me. and I No, what happened in the backyard? Oh, okay. Well, I went outside and I was trying to put the lawn chair down. And I was You're going to water plants. Going to try to water plants, and somehow I fell. I don't know how exactly, but I did, and I hit my head, which was not good. No, nope, she had blood of bleeding in the brain. Yes, and so uh, Kevin couldn't take me to the emergency room because he had had. A couple pills and he couldn't drive his prescription his doctor gave him and he couldn't drive so we took I took a taxi first time I ever took one took a taxi and they got over there and they did a cat scan and then found out that I had some blood on the brain not a lot but some the reason you went to the hospital was because you were spitting up blood uh -huh, was, you had bloody nose and spitting up a little bit I of blood. I was spitting up blood from where, from what? Probably because it was running back down your nose. But what happened to me is I hit my head up here and over here, and I had a big bruise on my cheek. It looked like she got hit on both sides of the head. Yep, looked like that's it, what they said. It landed said. on one side and bounced over and hit the, or you tried to get up maybe. I don't know. Maybe if you tried to, you tried to get up and... You fell down again or something. I don't know, but I, I heard you hop, screaming and hollering my name, and I went out there and picked I you up. I just remembered falling. That's all. I don't know. Yep. Kevin seems to think that I fell on... She landed on some pilings. Some pot. Some logs. Logs that were laying there, and that could be... I don't know what happened. Anyway, I didn't feel that bad when I got in the house. Kevin got me in the house, but... We decided I probably should go get checked out because I started having all these awful bruises on my face. I had a great big bruise the size of a small watermelon on my thigh. I hit myself somehow in here a little bit. It didn't hurt real bad, but it was a little uncomfortable. So anyway, they put me in the emergency room for three days. And then they decided to send me over after the second uh, CAT scan. It was exactly the same as the first one. So the doctor knew that it wasn't real bad and that it hadn't gotten any worse. So they sent me to uh, this place that was going to help me to rehabilitate and get some therapy and so I did that and they had it was a very uncomfortable chair that didn't work <laughs> the feet didn't come up and stay up so they're, they're, oh, they you the put, you, yeah the footrest so they had to put something under it for it to stay up and after an hour of that it was very uncomfortable anyway that was my first uh, that's how I got there. Then I lost my button to push the button to get some help. To call the something. nurse? I, yeah, I don't know what I wanted. I don't remember something I needed. They wouldn't let me walk at all by myself. So 
I started, I had my door open, so I started calling, help, 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 and I did it, I don't know how many times. People were walking by and nobody came in. It might not have been nurses, it might probably have been no, people probably there just patients visiting. Or, pa well, or other or patients. I don't know. But I, I just kept calling. Finally, some woman says, I am at the desk. I can hear you calling for help, but I don't know where you are. So I told her where I was in, in the room and they sent somebody to come and help me and got that straightened out. Of course, the second time I lost the button, that's when I called 911. And then one of the ladies that worked there went and got something that would clip onto my gown. That way, I would always know exactly where it was. So that worked out real good. Uh, another day or two later, I was not comfortable in bed, but my back felt a little uncomfortable. All night long, apparently, I slept on a Sudoku book under my back that had a metal clip on it. Holding the pages open. Holding the pages open <laughs> for me, and I don't know how it got underneath. A me. big metal clip. A big, heavy metal clip. How that happened, I don't know. Anyway, it, it didn't. Uh, open, didn't uh, break open the skin or anything, so that was good. Yeah. So now you're home. You got home yesterday. Wait a minute. I still have one more oh, thing. Oh, she got something yeah. to tell you. More to tell you about. Kind of keep uh, it short. I was trying to keep. I, I was trying to get a little more comfortable in my bed. So I pushed one of the buttons. And everything started going cattywampus she started moving on the, the bed. Moving the bed around. Second time that happened with the bed. And the first time, somebody came in to give me some food, and I said, "Don't put my, the food on down there because some I think I'm, I'm my bed's falling apart. Something's happening with my bed." So he put the food somewhere for a few minutes and looked under the bed. And there was a uh, trash can, a very heavy plastic trash can that somebody put under the bed. And apparently I moved the bed some, not knowing it was under there, so I broke the trash can. <laughs> and the bed started going cattywampus and I was afraid I was gonna fall. <laughs> the bed was breaking. Oh boy. So the second time I took that little tray table that they have. That rolls around. And I didn't have it in the right place. And I moved the bed again. And this time our bed started going cattywampus again. And I got somebody in there <laughs> and they said, don't move, don't touch that table at all. It was underneath the bed, and the bed smashed the bottom part of the uh, the wheel on on the tray. So don't let anybody touch it. I'm going to go see if I can find you another one. Okay. Well, she got busy with real people problems and didn't get a chance to but somebody came in with my food for breakfast and said well I'll find you one and she went somewhere and somebody's room and found three of them and there's only two people in a room I but had a private room your room was special yeah so she brought one of those from the other room because she's redneck mama <laughs> <laughs> So she brought one from the other room and I had a table. And yeah. we found a nice man named one, by one of my children's names. And he came in and he took the table and he said, I'm gonna fix it and bring it back to you. I said, no, 
I don't want it back. I, I don't want to break any more stuff. I'll keep this one that's working. So <laughs> those were my experiences that happened yep. in there. Yep. So now you're home, and uh, uh -huh. how are things looking? Well, Kevin has been putting things away, which was very nice to see a lot of things put away that should have been put House away. House cleaning. A long time ago. Picking things up that she could have tripped on, rearranging yeah. furniture, mm -hmm. some for the, some of the furniture, uh -huh. some stuff. Just some things are put in different places that she may have tripped on. And Colleen came, my daughter. Yep. And she helped a lot yesterday, Straight trying to put up. other things away. And see, I have a whole lot of room now for for this and my can if I need it. I don't it, think they can see that. I've been using. I've been using this walker instead. Yeah. Because I'm not walking quite as well as I did before I fell. But she's so getting there. I'm getting there. You're and getting there. And today you got a, a nurse coming? Yes, they're going to just talk to me. And there, there's going to be several times when they come and help me. Is she single? I don't know. <laughs> Is she pretty first? That's the first don't, question. Don't know anything. We'll find, we'll find out, out in a few we... minutes when they get here. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, it's gonna, it says Redneck's going wild on the car. She's probably going to watch the show and hear me say that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, hey, nurse. Thanks for coming over and helping us. Uh, anything else you want to say before we and Kevin close this up? Kevin wouldn't let me get up in the night, and neither would Colleen. No, I made her, I gave, so made, made he, her call I me if she had to get up. I him on the telephone. Yeah. So I could, so I could get up and go to the So I could home. stand there and watch while she gets up and make sure that she's she's okay and she doesn't fall or anything. Cause I don't I don't I don't want her to fall. Well, the doctor said if I fall again, I'm liable to end up killing myself. Yeah. Because That's true. this hasn't healed yet. It takes a long time for the blood to. You well, know, you know, everybody's assimilate in my body. Everybody's so. happy that you're back, and everybody was saying their prayers for you and wishing you good luck. I very much appreciate everybody's well wishes and prayers. Yep. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, let's wrap this up. Yeah. Say goodbye. Bye. See y'all later, folks. Thanks Have again. a good day. Thanks again. Redneck Mama has made it home. Well, I put my finger right in front of it. That's 12 minutes, almost 13 minutes. Wave to everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, folks.